So we've got some new nodes which allow us to manipulate integer ranges and that can be useful in various rigging or procedural modeling situations. So it's a very simple scene. I've got these polygons being beveled with a polygon bevel and I've got my select by index selection operation. So the first one I want to look at is int merge, sorry, int range merge. And what this does is it will take two integer ranges and merge it into a single range. And in this case I'm just going to define them in the node. So I want it to give me 200 to 300 and 1 to 10. So the next one is in range bounds and what this does is it takes an integer range and gives you the minimum and the maximum value in that range. So this in range merge is going from 200 to 300, 1 to 10, so this is going to output 1 and 300. The next one is in range clump and what this does is it takes an integer range and then can clump it by specific values. So the best way to explain that is to show you. So if I add a math node, duplicate it, so I'm going to take my range and I'm going to take the minimum out of the bound, int bounds and the maximum out of the int bounds. And I'm going to have that as a subtraction. Put that into the minimum and that into the maximum. So if I add 5 to the minimum and then subtract 5 from the maximum, it's going to output a range which is with, with those, it's kind of clumped the, the range that came in by those specific values. Um, so then if I take that output and put that into the select by index, you'll see the selection change. So if I increase this to say 50, you can see the selection changing again. So it's a way of taking a value and then clamping it within by, by specific amounts. And of course those amounts can also be driven. And the final one is in range test. And what this one does is it takes an integer range and outputs either a true or a false value. So what you could do is just define um, a particular um, particular integer that's contained within that range. So let's put in 400. And you can see because 400 isn't contained within that range, it's outputting a value of false. But if I change this to 200, it's outputting true.